All right, I've gone ahead and created this simple scene where I have a couple of hidden objects. They are nothing more than just a parametric primitives right now. I also have a cloner object added to this scene right now. And I'm gonna go just a little bit beyond the defaults here and switch this mode option to object. And this little object reference field is typically a place where you want to put the object for its clones to settle at. So what if I want the object for this object reference field not to be just static? What if I want to change this object with the pace of time. In that case, I would definitely use a link list node. The link list node is designed especially for the situations of that kind. So let's first drop the cloner object to the canvas. Then let's go back to the link list node itself. Then let's switch to the node tab. And this is where we can find a huge place to put the objects to. So now we can highlight all the objects we need and accurately put them into that blank space. Under the parameter tab, you can find the index parameter, which gives you access to a certain object from the object list. Next, let's connect the link list to the cloner object node. To get the correct input, you gotta go to object properties, object. As you do this, the chain instantly will start to work and that clones will start to mimic the cylinder shape, which has currently an index of zero. Manually entering different values here will produce different results, but we can certainly use some other signal to make it for us. In this case, I'm going to use the time node to drive the index value. And to be able to change the pace of it, I'm going to bring the math node which is going to help me doing it. Let's quickly add both of these nodes to the canvas. Then let's quickly get rid of time nodes default output. Let's bring the frame output instead of it. Then let's go to the math nodes node tab, because this is where we can change its function. I'm going to change it to divide for now. And going back to its parameter tab, I'm going to set the value of something around 5 into input 2. This should make a link list node to change its index parameter on every fifth frame. Let's prove it by connecting all these nodes together. And it seems to be working fine. If you want to slow this shifting down, you can easily increase the input to parameter of the math node. So right now it's set to 20, meaning that this shift is happening on every 20th frame. So that's the link list node. And if you really like these Expressor tutorials, you can find the whole course devoted to Expressor available on the App Store. Just type in Expressor or follow the link below.